shit, yeah, they bread stank. Walk up in the club, dripping like I'm fresh paint. I can shoot through the facade like an. What's going on, fight fans? It's another great day when you love MMA. Welcome back to Mad Maddie Fight Talk. Now, we got to give credit where credit is due. We're going to veer off of the MMA path for just a second here. We got to give the boxing community a really big shout out because these guys have finally put together a match that I really, really want to see. And I'm sure the rest of you do as well. It's going down April 22nd at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. You got Ryan King Rye Garcia taking on Javante Tank Davis. You got 23-0 Garcia with 19 KOs, taking on 28-0 with 26 KOs Davis. This is one hell of a matchup. This is what fighting is all about on every level. You got two undefeated fighters in their prime, running through guys, finally going to match it up. All jokes aside, this is a hell of a fight. I really can't wait to see what's going to happen in this one. Ryan Garcia, like I said, 23-0, extremely fast, very long, rangy. So explosive, has great hands, has knockout power. He has put a lot of guys away. Then you got Gervonta Davis on the other hand. Little bit of a shorter guy, very explosive as well. Has some pretty nice defense, but he shuts the show down. 26 kills out of his 28 wins. Very impressive. We've all seen what happens when he lands the haymakers on these dudes. They go lights out and they can't continue. I'm very curious to see how this fight's going to play out because in my mind, Ryan Garcia is a long fighter. He knows how to use his reach, has an extremely explosive jab, and likes to follow off of his jab. Now, he does leave open openings for counters as well. Dervante Tank Davis, on the other hand, man, this guy has two grenades in those 10-ounce gloves. That kid packs a punch. I mean, it, the thing with him is he's been starting a little bit slow and feeling his way through these guys. And then when it's time to put the show to an end, he does that. He knocks people out. He's a little bit pickier with his punches, but he's very precise, very fast. And I think he has a slight edge in the footwork as well. Now, I'm curious to see what Ryan Garcia is going to do in this one. Because in my mind, how this fight's going to play out, Garcia is going to touch him up early, I think. He's definitely going to show off that he has the more, uh, more hand speed little bit better of combinations. I think Davis is going to be picking one, two shots at a time, trying to work his way on the inside, but I think he's going to get ate up in the beginning of this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how he is able to do that, but we've seen him take his time, start slow. Garcia is probably going to win the first three or four rounds, and I think Davis knocks Garcia clean out by round eight or nine. I think this is not going to go the distance either way, but I definitely think Davis is going to find the chin because Garcia, is he's hes susceptible for counters. He does leave himself open. He likes to throw his uh, straight, lean back, and he doesn't really protect himself. So I'm curious if Davis can take advantage of that, or is height going to play a factor in this one? Is uh, Ryan Garcia's footwork going to be on point that night? We're just going to have to wait and see. But regardless, guys, I'm super excited for that fight. Hit me in the comments. Definitely let me know who you guys have winning that fight. I got Tank Davis winning by knockout. Round 8 through 12 at some point in eight through 12 i see davis putting the lights out but i do see garcia winning a lot of rounds until that happens now in other big fight announcements the ufc has announced the return to abu dhabi it's going to be going down october 22nd they're going back to fight island so what does that mean because they haven't really announced a fight card or who's going to be on the card but you if you wanted to speculate you'd have to think who the kings of those of, of that region is you got islam makachev the champion right now at 155, defended his belt against Alexander Volkanovsky. And you also got Hamza Chemaev. Now, are we going to put both of them on the same card? Because that would be unbelievable, and I do see that being a possibility. Dana White also said that Hamza Chemaev is going to be moving up to 185. So he's definitely going to be fighting a middleweight. There's a lot of good contenders to put that guy against. There's a lot of big fights to make. He definitely could be a headliner. But because it's so far out, you, you got to think that Islam Makachev is probably going to be the guy who ends up fighting. Now, there's fights going on between Charles Oliveira and Benil Darius. We don't know if the winner of that's getting a title shot. Then you also got, which was also announced, another big fighting news. Alexander Volkanovsky will be fighting Yaya Rodriguez on July 8th at UFC 290. It's supposedly going to be the co-headliner of John Jones and Stipe Miocic. Now, none of this is set in stone, other than Volkanovski will be fighting Yair Rodriguez 100%. I think Jones and Miocic are trying to get on the same fight card as well for International Fight Week. That's what I've been told. That's what I've heard. But that leads me to believe that they're trying to set up Islam Makachev versus Volkanovski too, which will go down in Abu Dhabi. Because you got to think, Makachev went to Australia. Very close, very good fight. 
and he got the edge and the victory in a split decision. Now you have to think that they might want to see a second fight where Volkanovski goes to Abu Dhabi and tries to take the belt from him there, which that would be freaking insane. I would love to see them do a second one. Now, if that's not the case, it could be Makachev versus Benil Dariush or Charles Oliveira, whoever wins that. But even Makachev himself said he doesn't really want to fight Oliveira again. So if unless Benil wins, I see Volkanovski, if he can, regardless if he defends his title or not, I definitely see him stepping in there uh, at the Abu Dhabi fight card on October 22nd to possibly be the main event in that fight. And Hamza Chemaev, I believe, is going to be on there as well. He hasn't fought in a long time, and you know he's been itching to get back in there. But regardless, guys, those are some big fight announcements, uh, big fight card announcements, however you want to word it. Hit me in the comments. Let me know who you guys think is going to be the headliner of the Abu Dhabi fight card. Uh, and what do you guys think about this Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair, uh, Yair Rodriguez fight that's going down July 8th? Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Hey, this talk of shit. Yeah, they bread stank. Walk up in the club dripping like I'm fresh paint. I can see through the facade like an 